Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frankie, and welcome to Club Foodie. I associate winter with cold, yucky weather. But I also link it with casseroles. I love making them, especially when it's cold outside. I have so many on the website, and here's another one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my pierogi casserole. These filled dumplings are very good on their own, but wait till you try this version. It's totally an OMG. So let's get cooking. In a medium cold skillet, we'll add chopped bacon and then turn the heat to medium low. This is a great way to slowly render the fat and make the bacon crispy. About 10 minutes later, when the meat is slightly crispy, we'll transfer it to a bowl using a slaughter spoon. We want to leave the fat behind, which will help build some serious flavor in our casserole. To this, we'll add butter, and when it's melted and starts sizzling, we'll add our white onion slices and stir until they're well coated with the fat before seasoning with ground sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. Still on medium-low, we'll cook them for 15 minutes, stirring often. Meanwhile, we'll start making the bechamel sauce. I'm not showing you how to make it because I already did. So if you missed the episode, click on the top right corner of your screen. We'll follow the recipe as is. Add the white pepper. But we won't add the salt and the grated nutmeg because when the bechamel is done, we'll turn it into a cheddar cheese sauce. Now, making just the bechamel from start to finish takes 15 minutes. Exactly the same amount of time for the onion slices. So, using a slaughter spoon and letting the excess fat drip off, we'll transfer them to a bowl before returning to our sauce. All right, so the recipe for the cheddar cheese sauce is identical to the one on the website. We'll be adding the same ingredients, which are mild paprika and dry mustard, and then whisk them in until nicely blended. The only thing that differs is I'm using the same amount of cheese, except I split between three quarter cup of sharp yellow cheddar cheese, and the other three quarter cup is sharp white cheddar, but you can go with the same color. Like we always do when adding cheese to a hot sauce or hot liquid, we'll drop in a little at a time and whisk well between each addition. This will prevent the cheese from clumping up and at the end, we'll get a nice smooth texture. Now let's assemble the casserole. In a 9x9 nine nine baking dish lightly greased with cooking spray, we'll add half of the frozen pierogies in a single layer. You can buy them or make them from scratch. And in that case, here's my recipe link showing up on your screen. From here, we'll season with ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Then we'll spoon over half of the caramelized onions spreading them out evenly, followed by half of the bacon. Next, we'll pour half of the cheese sauce over the ingredients before repeating the same steps. Place the remaining half of the pierogies in a single layer, the rest of the onion slices, and the same with the bacon. Then top evenly with the remaining cheddar cheese sauce. We'll cover the dish with foil that has been greased with cooking spray and transfer to a 375 degree preheated oven. We'll bake for 30 minutes or until the internal temperature of the pierogies reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll carefully remove from the heat and let it rest for five minutes. Now, a few minutes later, We'll sprinkle on some chopped chives and serve immediately. And my friends, this is our pierogi casserole. So tasty and easy to make 
This is a great comforting casserole to enjoy this season. With all some ingredients, it's another delicious way to enjoy pierogies. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit ClubFoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!